What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on video four of our series of the Open Water Scuba Diver Program's skill sets. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at equipment checks and equipment malfunctions and how to deal with those malfunctions. Now before we go any further, I do want to state, please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series to go out and scuba dive. Make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI scuba instructor. So with that being said, let's jump into the skills. So the first thing is just a simple air check. This is something that all divers should be able to do. Whether you have a set of gauges or a computer on your wrist that's an air integrated computer, you're simply just going to look at it, make a note of what you got, and then the next time you check it, you can kind of do a sac rate calculation in your head to see how much gas you're using over time. Now the next skill that we're going to do is what's called a free flow in regulators. Most regulators are designed to free flow or fail in the open position. And if that ever occurs, you can very easily still breathe through it while attempting to fix it. Of course, if you can't fix it, you are going to learn what to do if you happen to run out of air in a future video. But all we're going to do is go through about two or three breathing cycles here, then reseat the regulator. The next skill set that we're going to do, we're going to disconnect and reconnect our inflator in the event that we get what's called a sticky inflator. It's a very simple skill to do, and we should be able to react to this very quickly. You're just going to disconnect so that your BCD does not rapidly fill up with air. And then, of course, once we have the problem fixed, we can go ahead and reconnect our low pressure inflator hose. Now it is important once again to do this skill very quickly so that we don't rush to the surface. In the next skill that we're going to do, we're going to do a proper equipment check underwater. Maybe we need to adjust something. Maybe we need to adjust the height of our cylinder, or maybe we just need to re-secure the cylinder strap for whatever reason. Now, depending on what BCD model you wear, uh, this skill can differ. But one of the things to remember is that the primary reg set is going to be on the right-hand side, so we always want to make sure that we remove our left arm first. That way, we're actually pulling our equipment around to the right side of our body, and that will help prevent pulling the regulator from our mouth. Once we have it off, we can do whatever repairs we need to the equipment or adjust any piece of equipment that we need. And of course, we can uh, put our BCD system back on. Once we have it on, we just want to take our time, make sure that we get everything strapped up the way it was, get all the buckles put back in place, get everything adjusted where it needs to be. And yes, you can do this skill on the bottom if you need to, but a good way to practice this is, of course, practice neutral buoyancy, which means this is going to show you that you can manipulate your body even without your equipment on simply by practicing. Now once you have everything adjusted, the last thing that you want to do of course is make sure that nothing got entangled as you were putting your system back on. So I just do a quick little hose test here. In this case I've got four different hoses. I'm going to have my primary hose which goes to the regulator I'm breathing from, my alternate hose, my low pressure inflator hose, and then of course my high pressure hose which is what my gauge is. Now that I know all is good, I can move on to the next skill. And of course the last skill that we're going to do of course is remove and replace weights. And this is something that you may do to adjust a system. Maybe you need to adjust your trim a little bit or swap weights in and out. Very simple, you're just going to pull it out. And once again, depending on what BCD model you have, it may differ depending on how the weights are actually installed on your BC. So there you go guys, that's going to be it for video four in this series on the Open Water Diver Program skill sets. As I stated before, please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series to go out and scuba dive. Please make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI scuba instructor. But definitely stay tuned. In video five of this series, we're going to look at all the out of air emergency drills that you're going to learn during the Open Water Program and how you handle those situations. But if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely stay tuned. We've got several videos left in this series. If you've got any questions, questions, drop me a comment down below. I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. But until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.